mate, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. My last video is getting lots of giggles, my Nutella sweet toasted sandwich. It was a celebration for reaching 100 subscribers on YouTube. So my wife and my daughter wanted to make sure I looked really pretty. If you haven't checked it out yet, the link's right here. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be making bread. Gorgeous, warm, wholesome, homely bread. That's my standard recipe that you can use for conventional loaves and for pitters, but today I'm gonna to be making some gorgeous focaccia and some Moorish grassini. Now, the grassini are the breadsticks that you often have at the start of a meal. I'm gonna be making some with some fresh bread dough. They're called grassini rubata, which means they don't have to be uniform thickness all the way through. They can be a bit more rough and ready, because who cares? As you probably know, they're perfect for dipping in sauces and you can eat them with olives, and all kinds of other meze and tapas. The other bread I'm going to make is my personal favourite, focaccia. Now my guilty pleasure is dipping focaccia in olive oil just with some balsamic vinegar on its own with nothing else. Does that make me weird? I don't care. You like what you like. So first I'm gonna make the dough. So I'm using a teaspoon and a half of fast acting dried yeast. The fast acting yeast just means that you don't need to put it in warm water first to get it activated with a little bit of sugar. It just cuts down the time. You just whack it in with the rest of the ingredients. Then we add two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt. So next we add 750 grams of strong white bread flour. And then 500 mils or 500 grams of water. Same thing. The water needs to be warm, about the same temperature as your finger. You dip your finger in, you can't feel whether it's hot or cold, you've got it about right. And then a good glug of olive oil. I put in about 100 ml, it's up to you, you can't really get it wrong. And then get mixing. Slow it first until it's all mixed in and really ramp up the speed. Sometimes I do it by hand, it depends how the mood takes me. But bear in mind it's a full 10 minutes of kneading. It's a lot of muscle. Then once it's been kneaded, I like to separate the dough from the bowl and add some olive oil so it's all coated. It's not gonna to stick to the bowl anymore. Then cover it with cling film and let it proof for a couple of hours. Time for a cuppa. Time for two cuppas. Maybe a biscuit. Okay, so now it's proved. We're gonna take it out of the bowl, cut the dough in half. Half of the grassini, half of the focaccia. We're gonna start with the grassini. So I cut that half portion into eight equal pieces, pretty much equal, doesn't matter too much. Now roll them out. Um, it's up to you how thick they are, really. There we go, that's the thickness I'm choosing. I've done all eight now, so now I'm gonna pick and chop up some fresh rosemary, mix it with a coarse salt. There we go, that's done. So now I'm gonna sprinkle some of the rosemary and salt mixture on the board, and I'm gonna roll the cassini in it. There we go, that's all eight done now. So I'm gonna stick them on a tray and stick them in the oven. These only take about five to seven minutes, so keep an eye on it. Just a good, generous bit of olive oil over the grassini before they go in the oven. You want quite a hot oven for bread, so you want it on 200 degrees centigrade without a fan, 180 degrees centigrade with a fan. So how's it going? You enjoying the recipe? Why not subscribe so you don't miss out on more recipes like this? You can do this now by clicking the button just down here. What's better, it doesn't even stop the video. You just carry on watching. How clever is that? Now the focaccia. Now this is a little bit simpler. Drizzle some olive oil on a baking tray, push the dough down to flatten it out, and then spread it out with your fingers, making sure you don't make any holes. Leave this to proof for 20 minutes. Now this is the fun bit about making focaccia. Prod your fingers all over the loaf. Don't be shy, go right through to the bottom to make some nice deep holes. Then sprinkle over the rosemary and the sea salt from earlier. Then you can drizzle the top of the focaccia with the olive oil. Now this will need to bake for about 20 to 30 minutes, again on the same temperature, 200 degrees centigrade without a fan, or with a fan, 180 degrees centigrade. When I check my focaccia, I always tap the bottom just to make sure it's got a hollow sound, it means it's baked. Now when you take it out, you might find that the olive oil is still pulled in those holes that you made. Leave it, it's absolutely fine. As the loaf cools down, it will get sucked into the dough and it'll make it deliciously rich. If you have a go at making these breads and you like them, leave a comment below. Tell your friends and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next video in the series, my fresh rhubarb and ginger no-baked cheesecake. Okay, take care and I'll see you next week. Do I have to keep smiling? Shall I wave? I'll wave as well. Smile and wave. Smile and wave. Are we done? Can I stop waving now? <laughs>